Hi, this is Carl Polichuk with Small Biz Thoughts, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today we're going to talk about billability of technicians. If you're not a managed service provider, billability is very straightforward. It's the number of hours you build, period. So if you give hours away for free, you don't bill for them, that's that. There's nothing to it. So billability is simply how many hours do you actually bill. So if you're break fix, it's a very easy calculation. It's a little different if you're a managed service provider. I've got a chart here that shows an example of how labor might be divided within your company. We have a big section that is for covered labor in support of a managed service contract. We have a big area that is overhead. Overhead is legitimate. It's the things like training and scheduling, maybe even driving from one place to another. Stuff that you have to do, but you can't bill for but it's also part of your overhead so you need to understand what that is so you can make sure that you're profitable. You do have to have overhead labor. No one is 100% billable. You have a tiny piece that is actual billable labor on top of what you have in managed services. So this would be project labor or something where something's an ad move change and so it becomes billable. The two things you have to avoid as much as possible are the tiny little slivers that I've got here. One is rework. We rework is in support of a contract or it is in support of a project, but you can't bill for it. So if something should take one hour and for whatever reason it takes six, you can't charge for all of that. So just keep track of it, but make sure that you keep track of it so that you can say, all right, why do we have this unbillable rework? and you can address that and improve the process. The other thing that you have to avoid is the truly unproductive labor. This is the slack. This is wait time. This is sitting around doing nothing. This is people who take 45 minutes to drive to an appointment when it should take 15, right? Every employee knows where there's slack in their job and you just have to make sure that it is at an acceptable level and make sure that people as productive as possible. That's going to help with billability. Now, these are not ideal measurements in any way. These, the 40 hours I have in this example do not represent your company. They don't necessarily rep represent my company. They are simply an example. So if you do lots of project labor, that billable piece is going to be much larger. If you have a very small overhead, and of course it can't be zero, but it might be five or 10%, then that's going to be a lot smaller. Your covered labor might be much bigger. So you have to figure out what those percentages are, but the only way that you can do that is you have to track your time very, very rigorously and make sure that things are allocated appropriately. How do we make sure that we maximize the billability of our technicians? Well, we start with that time tracking so we know exactly what's what and where we are and what our percentages are, and then we do training. Training, which accounts for your overhead, also helps everybody be more efficient and do their jobs better. Next, documentation. You have to document everything you do. You have to document exactly what you gave to the client. And uh, of course, that means that you're documenting all of what you use your time for. Also, planning. Planning allows you to know in advance that you're going to schedule things appropriately. I prefer kind of a loose schedule so that if something comes up, you can wedge something in there. If your schedule's too tight, what happens is that one little thing goes wrong and the entire set of dominoes falls down and now uh, you've just got a messed up day. Looser timing is good. The problem is you got to make sure you know how you're going to fill up that time when you have spare time. Otherwise, you're contributing to unproductive labor. And finally, teamwork. If everyone on your team works together to try to maximize billability, you will get the job done. And your team needs to know that that's one of your goals. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polichuk wishing you all the luck in your managed service business.